Is there anything faster than fast food? Me, I'm faster than fast food. Today I'll be going to some of the most popular fast food chicken restaurants and ordering a chicken sandwich without the chicken. Yes, I know it sounds crazy, but I want to test out a few things today. One, can I make better fried chicken than Popeyes, Chick-fil-A, or KFC? Better yet, can I make it better while cooking it in the drive-thru? I'm going to be going through the drive-thru at each fast food location, then ordering the sandwich without the chicken so that I can fill it in with my own. Then I'll taste and compare all the sandwiches to see who has the best fried chicken sandwich, which, given none of theirs will have any chicken, will come down to the ingredients they use besides the chicken. The buns, the pickles, the sauce. Sauces, you name it. To do this, I'll be bringing a bag of chicken, which I'll top off right now with some buttermilk to get it nice and tender. A good old bag of potato starch, because this is way better than flour for frying. And this portable burner we can use to cook in the drive thru And since we're deep frying, we're gonna need a pot with some oil. We did this not long ago with burgers instead of chicken sandwiches. Yes, hi, how are ya? How are you? Great, thank you. Just cooking. Today, it's just fried chicken instead. Before we go, we're catching up to Gordon very fast. So help us catch up to him and smack that subscribe button. Let's go. We are now pulling into the first restaurant of the day, Chick-fil-A. For our setup, we really want to try to keep the car a little bit cleaner this time. I have a feeling this is going to be a good flip. So I'm going to go ahead and put down a towel. Then we'll go onto the towel with our portable burner. Now at this point, we go on with our pot and we have a thermometer as well to monitor the temperature throughout our cook today. Next, of course, we need to go ahead and put in our frying oil. I can safely say no one's ever done this in the Chick-fil-A parking lot. Maybe besides Max the meat guy. Completely blown away with the color of that chicken. Now I want to be prepping all our chicken for the day before we go through the first drive-thru. We're simply going to take our buttermilk dredged chicken and place it into a big bag of flour, potato starch, and a bunch of different seasonings. Then we'll fire up the heat and we're ready to go. How are you? We're doing something crazy. We would just love a chicken sandwich without the chicken. Just want straight bun. Straight bun. Straight bun. <laughs> See what we're doing in here? This is our chicken. We'll have the chicken ready piping hot when we go through. Isn't that good? No one's ever done this, huh? No. The first time. First time, Manny. Manny, I think we should put our chicken in. We're making chicken in the drive-thru. I think we are good to go ahead and start frying. So let's go ahead. In we go. Thank you. 27 cents. Oh my God, the oil was not hot enough. So we're starting to get some bubbles on the chicken here. We're just waiting on the bun because I don't think anyone ever orders just the bun with no chicken. So it's giving him some problems over here. Sorry about that. You're being a good sport about it though. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Our chicken is coming along. If you look now, we're getting that nice crisp, the bubbles. We are moving. We're going crazy in here. We're cooking chicken on the fly. He did not give a flying. <laughs> One thing I want to point out here is that this is extremely dangerous. We currently have 325 degree oil right next to us in the middle of a moving vehicle. I don't think this is illegal, but it's definitely stupid. Thank you so much. Have a good one. We have our Chick-fil-A and we have our beautifully golden brown fried piece of chicken. But as you can see on the label here, prepared for us is simply a white bun. The real question is, is this bun worth a good 27 cents? Right off the bat, what I love is they've toasted it off nicely for us, which we've got to give them credit. They did a pretty good job with that. At this point, we can take out our chicken and layer it onto that bun. And our car cooked Chick-fil-A is complete. <laughs> Smells great and it's time for a bite. Holy cow. That is juicy. Juicing? Juicy. It's flavorful. I was able to season it myself, and that buttermilk makes for a beautiful flavor as well as a nice tender breast. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing I forgot is a pinch of Osmo, but other than that, this is a killer chicken sandwich. My closing thoughts for Chick-fil-A are this. The employee was super cool about giving us the bun. <laughs> Frankly, my chicken is much, much better. And naturally, it comes with Chick-fil-A sauce, which, let's face it, it's probably the best sauce in the fast food game. With that said, it's time to move on to McDonald's. I'm gonna give you a word of advice. Never, ever drive with hot oil. This is super scary. Ow! Fuck, Manny! We pulled up to McDonald's, it's time to go. Believe it or not, McDonald's has a pretty good crispy chicken sandwich themselves. So it's time to go ahead and cook this before we go in the drive-thru. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. Could we order a chicken sandwich without the bun? I'm sorry, no, that didn't, that was wrong. A chicken sandwich without the chicken. A chicken sandwich without the chicken? Yes. You want the crispy chicken sandwich or like a mixed chicken? Right? The crispy chicken sandwich, but just without the chicken. Okay, the pickles too or just bread? You can have the pickles, anything that comes with it, but just um, no chicken. Our chicken is looking really great here at McDonald's. And we definitely confused the person on the other end of the intercom. But I'm excited for this one. Hi, how are you? Did it almost spill? Yeah, seems like a normal thing for them. Is the car giving you issues? Sometimes the chip doesn't work very well. Oh, that was good. Thank you so much. She gave it to us for free because my credit card is broken, because Manny lost my other one. Is this one hey. the and the pickles, right? Yeah, we already have the chicken ready. Oh. Have a good one. She was like, what the hell is their problem? One of the things I'm learning about cooking in the car and in the drive through like this, with what is now 375 degree oil, is that it's extraordinarily hot. 
Now, as for McDonald's, they've got the word crispy written right on the packaging, and we're taking that to the next level today. Let's see what we're left with after no chicken. Right off the bat, I thought the Chick-fil-A bun looked great, but this looks even better, especially the way they've toasted the buns perfectly here. What we've got are some actually pretty fresh looking pickles, as well as a nice toasted bun. As we did before, we'll go ahead and place that crispy chicken right onto our bun. Then I can't forget a nice sprinkle of Osmo, a few pickles, and of course, our top bun. And that right there is a good looking McDonald's crispy chicken sandwich if I've ever seen one. Look at all those crispy layers around the outside that they don't seem to get with their sandwiches. Time to find out how great it really is. Oh my lord, man. Man, you just take a bite of this. Holy f it's good. Honestly, that's like, that's your best chicken ever. I think so too. So I have to say right away, I think McDonald's has a slightly fluffier and lighter bun. And I love that they do include pickles as well to give that contrast. It works really well to balance everything out. When people talk about balance in food, they talk about balancing out that fat with some acidity. Sometimes balancing out hot with cold. It makes food fun. Currently, I put McDonald's as number one. But let's go see what Popeyes has to say about that. Pulling up to Popeyes and they're now hiring too. Manny, if I were you, I'd work at Popeyes over McDonald's for that chicken sandwich every day. We've got really nice hot oil now, and I'm cooking this with the goal of having that finished the second we finish through that drive-thru. Because Popeyes doesn't mess around with their chicken, but neither do I. Hello. Hi, could we get one crispy chicken sandwich without the chicken? Without the chicken? Yep. Only the bread? Only the bread and whatever comes with it. We're almost done. <sighs> this is one of the dumbest things we've ever done. They don't like us here. I'm not the loco one, he's the loco one. Have you seen anyone do this before? You have? Probably us. <laughs> Probably us. It's like no chicken for this sandwich. No chicken for the sandwich is right here. Tell me what you think. Oh. Good. Is yours better? We'll see, we'll see. Thank you, you too. Have a good one. Here at Popeyes, they give you a bunch more alongside the crispy chicken sandwich. As you can see, as I open this up, we've got a very healthy amount of mayonnaise and a few pickles, which as you can tell, are a different type of pickle than McDonald's uses. Now, given that Popeyes is often the king of crispy chicken sandwiches, they've got some tough competition against me and Manny. Our chicken is extraordinarily crispy and frankly, a bit more golden brown than theirs, which I like. I'll top it off with a nice pinch of Osmo, noting that I'm likely paying far more attention to my seasoning than they do here at Popeyes. And we'll place on our bun. Tell me that that's not a really badass looking Popeye's crispy chicken sandwich right there. I want you to listen to this crunch. Oh my God. It's dripping. The chicken is so incredibly crispy with that potato starch. In fact, Popeye's, you listened to me when I told you to put nuggets back on the menu. You're looking for quick little nugget bites. Popeye's doesn't really have them. I wish they would bring them back or I wish they would create them, but they don't have them. Introducing our new nuggets. This time we come in peace. Now, I'm asking that you start using potato starch to fry. Trust me, you're not gonna regret it. There is a competition going down right now because even though there's mayo in this one, McDonald's had some really nice buns. And you know me, I love a good set of buns. And right now, I don't know who's got the lead, McDonald's or Popeye's. I never thought I'd say this, but Popeye's might lose a crispy chicken sandwich battle today. Before we continue on, I wanna stop at Burger King real quick just to see if our friend Joanna is here. Hi, can I help you? Yes, hi, is Joanna there? Uh-huh. Oh, okay, can we just say hi, we're friends of hers. Okay, come to the window, hun. Thank you. <laughs> I love Joanna. You're giving us the sandwich for free? That's so nice. Who's gonna win the best sandwich? You? I don't know, maybe me. This is nice Wagyu beef. I can't believe it, you're cooking it. <laughs> That's crazy. Hi, Joanna. Hola, hi, how are you doing, honey? <laughs> we had to go come say hi. Hello, We're cooking. Thank a, you. We're cooking fried chicken again today. Yeah. That's great, honey. My son, he probably. He does? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. And you're like a star now, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. <laughs> Always I see you on Instagram too. Do I follow you? you on Instagram too. Okay. Oh my god, thank you. What's your Instagram? I can follow you back right now. Go ahead. Then we can stay in touch with Joanna instead of coming and stalking her at work every time. <clears throat> there you go. Is that you? That's me. Look at that. We're friends now. So we just wanted to come say hi. Thank you. Thank you, honey. Mwah. <laughs> Mwah. Thank you, honey. <laughs> thank you, Joanna. Nice to see you. See you soon. She's the goat. Burger King, Joanna needs a race. If, if you won't give it to her, I will. We've pulled up to our final stop, KFC. Is this not a drive-thru? Is it? No. We are pulling up to our final stop of the day, KFC. Could we get one crispy chicken sandwich without the chicken? Thank you, sorry. It's a little crazy in here, but we're making the chicken in the car. You're making the chicken in the car? Yeah. Thank you so much. For our final sandwich of the day, KFC. Of course, they have fried chicken in their name, so it's gotta be good. And for those of you that don't yet know, look at his little arms and legs in the logo. Let's see what we're working with here. One of the weird things I'm noticing today is that if I ask for no chicken, the employees often seem to overcompensate with a lot more toppings than they normally give if there was chicken there. That is, first of all, more mayo than I think I've ever seen on a sandwich <laughs> at a fast food place. Here's the other thing. Why the f 
is there cheese on this? I'll take my beautiful piece of crispy chicken and place that onto my bun. Then I'll top off my sandwich, noting that they have not, in fact, toasted the bun at KFC. And to be totally honest here, I don't even know where and how to take a bite because of how much mayonnaise they've doused this sandwich with. <laughs> it's too much mayo. The mayo fest. KFC, I'm normally a fan, but today you've been disqualified. I think it all comes down to two places today. McDonald's or Popeye's? And honestly, even though Popeye's had that mayo, I'm gonna send McDonald's home with the win. Now keep in mind, this doesn't mean McDonald's has the best crispy chicken sandwich. In fact, I've already given that title to Popeye's. Numero uno goes to Popeye's. I'm simply saying here that the other ingredients that come along with the sandwich, besides the chicken itself, are a bit better at McDonald's. If you've made it this far and haven't liked the video by now, I'm gonna remind you to go down and toss a like on the video. And let us know in the description below what you want next. If you want milkshakes, we can bring a blender in the car. French fries, we can deep fry again. We can even do chicken nuggets.